been that far over what they announced as their first effort. I wonder if Nicky Vlad's got a game plan we don't know about for Butch. He has got a bit of catching up to do. He four kilos behind this man, the defending champion, at the halfway stage. Is there a weakness in Belgium? If so, it wasn't revealed on that left. No. And one would hope that it wouldn't be because you know, that's, that's the sort of weight that he would handle quite comfortably. So he's on the board now, which is, you know, sigh of relief, okay? He's got a total. Yeah, he's got an 8-kilo call over Makhdelenia of uh, Belarus with Cezaire of uh, Turkey in third place. But there's a long way to go in this. And here's Sirgi. Well, this is a man who's got a pretty strong record in terms of cleaning jerks cleaning jerks in the 150s but not so much in the 160s so this is going to be interesting because he only brings forward 122 kilos so he's a, a long way behind but maybe clean and jerk honors might be on the cards for him interesting Well, it was noisy in the first part. It was powerful in the second. Yeah, you, you know, the, the other way to say this, you know, when you're describing his relative performances, he's good in the clean and jerk, and another number comes off. I've noticed now some guys are coming out with these numbers taped on. Or not be a hazard. Or why bother? Yeah. So Butch, this is, well, I find this the most fascinating of all the decisions now, that Butch coming in at 161, and we haven't seen him attempting these sorts of weights now since Beijing. So Butch, who was ruled out all last season with a hamstring injury, that's why we didn't see him in 2009, but he's clearly back to something like his very best. First half was pretty impressive. Well, that's the hazard of a squat jerk. You've got very little freedom of fl or flexibility to adjust fore and aft, front and back, on the jerk. And first it looked very good, but it was only like 95% good, which wasn't close enough. And then he had to try to chase and lost it. Watch, he's going to dip and drive, and he's going to go down well below a quarter squat, which would make it a power jerk. He's not down a full squat, but he's going down low. Looks like it's good, but then it's just not quite overhead. And yeah, that really with, with one orthopedist of popping the arm back in backstage. We go on, and this is Antonio Butch at 161 kilos. Now, this was his opening attempt, and of course he didn't make it, so needs this to get a total. Bringing forward 135 kilos from the first phase. Cleanly straightforward. Doesn't waste time. Parger brings his feet forward. This time, that's okay. But a very expensive first miss because it really restricts his ambitions. As I was saying, Randy, just a moment ago, it, it, it's a good lift and it puts him on the board with the total. But the problem is that in striving for the championship, that first failure really limits his possibilities well you've only got three attempts in the lift so if you lose one you know you've only got two bullets left basically squat your Zulimanov and about 162 kilos and here he comes onto the stage now now 132 kilos that's seven behind Bilgin but this is his stronger suit and the way things are going if he plays these three lives cleverly he could get pretty close Yeah, ooh, ooh, very close to the front of that platform. Down signal, he's done extremely well to hold that together.
That's a real struggle, a real piece of fighting there to make sure that he gets that first attempt in. Well, Randy, it was a struggle, but he fought well. Absolutely, yeah. And this is a great example of why the clean and jerk is a true test of how strong you are overall. If you've got a weak link, it'll be revealed. And here's an example of how you can have no weak links in the chain. Holding the bar overhead is very difficult. This is why sometimes you can have a guy who can bench press half a house, and he can't hold 300 pounds overhead without shaking like a leaf. Watch him shake as the spars overhead because he's not quite in the right position. And then watch how he is tough enough, mentally and physically, to gain control of this weight. Still walking, still walking. And he gets under control. Look at that. Good lift. Great effort. Not easy. These five extra kilos would take him on to 304. When he was fourth in the under-23 Europeans last season, he was actually lifting at 69 kilos, so he's come down since last October. So, the first opportunity, maybe, for the likes of Zulfuga Sulimanov. And Butch comes out now, 165 kilos. This is absolutely crucial. Four kilos to go. Up, which would take him on to the 300 mark. Almost got away from him, but that was extremely good. Almost got away from him, Randy. Yeah, you know, squat jerk, we talked about this being risky. Look at this guy, this is a money lift. Yep, drive, squat down. Look at this. Very hard to execute a good squat jerk. News of Henadzi uh, Machvenia uh, dislocated his shoulder, which has been put back by uh, Dr. Yanmis, uh, who has now put that back. So uh, more on that when we get it, but hopefully no worse than that. Didn't make it the second time, but he has this time. Powering ahead. Errol Bilgin. That was nice for Bilgin to bounce back like that. Yeah, he's kept himself in command here of the competition because that gives him 304. Butch uh, has got uh, 300. But the danger man is uh, Zulfuga Sulimanov of Azerbaijan, who's sitting on 294. Last year, total up 285, so he's got more kilos anyway at 294. Big moment. How much did that last effort, that last unsuccessful effort, how much has that taken out of him? No, not in his mind, wasn't there. He ex 